the arrays in Java, the uh, Unity script kind, they can be resized. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, normal JavaScript arrays, on the other hand, can be resized, sorted, and can do all that you would expect from a an array class. Java arrays do not show up in the expector. Ooh, yeah, that's right. These don't. So it's it's like your dictionary. Your dictionary and C sharp will not like show up. In your uh, inspector, and what I mean by inspector is right here. Okay, this little area. Okay, even if you try to serialize it, it won't show up. So, but it's it's okay because if you use the list, you can push and make and add two arrays because they are resizable. Bullet arrays are used useful in performance critical code with Unity's JavaScript and built-in arrays could be easily processed two million vertices using a single mesh yeah that that is right well I remember article it was in Unity's thing I don't know if I'd be able to find it or not but when it came to these bulletin arrays, they actually worked faster than lists in C sharp. Okay, and the reason why they said that was because it was easier to do a bullet array of every script that needed a update function. They would use this, and then do a bullet array, which was resizable and everything, and add and convert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but the whole point was they wanted to see if they could um, use a for loop and then use one of these bulletin arrays to cycle for an update. So they would basically have one update, and then that single update, it would go and use bulletin arrays in the entire program. You know, for adding, subtracting, and all that. And they said it actually was like 0 0.12 of a second. It was actually a really significant boost when it came to um, pushing for updates and things to scripts. I remember it. It was actually quite interesting. And see how you got your array constructor which is the fixed size class then you have all these add count push pop removes the element removes the last element of array and returns it which would be really nice for weapons actually that I, now that I think about it and you know what here's the thing about this you do not have to you need does not support serialization of list of lists nor array of arrays that's kind of bs because we're serializing with xml a list of classes okay a list of list one of them is a list Ugh, whatever that's bs you can take that note and go someplace else with it. Because if you're watching the saving and loading and things, then you know this. And you can call sort and un. Now, when it comes to the C sharp version, look, we have C sharp one. It says the array is that one. Which we got arrays, but they're not like these cool things. Okay, and to add C sharp, boom. Okay, 
And that's the thing about it. We're no. It, it won't give us anything different. Because it probably knows I would tell you. Java. But the whole point of it is is to what? Join the contents of an array. See, I don't do a whole lot of Java scripting anymore because I just use C Sharp, and that's what a lot of people that's using Unity, including myself, use. But there are benefits to using Java. Like in a JavaScript thing, I'll show you. Let that do its thing here. Um, in a JavaScript world, you don't have to do a lot of these other things. Like, um, for each is relatively the same. We should be able, yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for a loop. Well, they're kind of written a little different. See, a lot of times when it comes to the um, how can I put that? Just a Java version, you have to do var what it is, var what it is, var push. Yeah, you know, the variable, which this is what it stands for. Where we would put public whatever and the public versus um, private protected and things like that those those still stand I'm pretty sure those still stand I don't think if you put them in um, because that's that's kind of the consistency that they want in programming is because they want you to be able to do protected and things. Okay. See. Oh man. Pro. Do they really not have it? What what do they call? Or do they just call it um, private? No. I'm pretty sure they got protective functions and stuff. Because I know they're not all public. That is interesting. Why are you complaining about that invalid character? You should be able to... But... Remember in a tutorial, I wanted to go, um, this is what I like about Java versus the other one. In C Sharp, you have to go, and you just can't put, um, we have bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Var. And then we type in what we want. Gain object. Oh, I need a light on. Being in dark stinks. Typing anyway. But the, the deal about it is you want this to be bar game okay if I could type man what's with this typing thing game object and then you put a string that will just and you can't put car because it's you know player okay Actually, that's not written right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Java. You have to... See? 
see it. That's I want this. Why do you delete everything? Jesus. We put the string name and we'll put player. And then that it should stop one. Why is this thing whiny? Does it not? It should be fine with this. Why? Why are you whiny? Oh, 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 yeah, 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 that's right. Well, he's sitting there screaming. Wait, what? <coughs> we don't declare variables. Um, no. No. Wait, wait, scripting right? I'm pretty sure pretty positive that you don't do stupid stuff like that <coughs> yeah 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 oh yeah 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 see we go public var private stuff like that but why is this thing whiny when I did that wait shouldn't you it shouldn't whine at all about that I shouldn't whine about that Why are you doing that? Let's just copy this in here and see if it, it winds over that. Because I know you shouldn't be. See, that's the thing. You shouldn't whine about that. Even, even Unity says that's right. So why are you whining? Even then, you should. I mean, are you not like picking up on the library? You're reading the file, but I don't think you're extending the extension. And that's that's the thing about it. That's really wait. What? It quit. Yeah, that was really weird. See, it stopped doing that, but the thing is, this is right here. It's still whining about. Okay, like it's it's not made the do. What? Oh, hey. Because it's in the C. Why is it in the C? The C sharp language. This is a huh? I mean, yeah, I know I've got other types of languages in here, but you should be able to handle that. I've done it before. Compile a solution. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying, but C 